I'm going to talk a little bit about my own family history of ADHD. And um, I can tell my Adderall's wearing off because the dog's in front of me wagging his tail. So if I look off into the corner, that's why. So um, anyways, um, my family compiled a book of genealogy. Um, my family ancestry has been traced back to the 1500s, um, the 1000s in some cases. Um, I don't even know if that's the word, 1000s. Anyways, um, so I'm going to read you a little bit about what I found about one of my ancestors. That His name was Edward Gov. And he was born in about 1630. And it would be kind of cool to find out there's other people related to him. Maybe we're all ADHD. I don't know. So I'm just going to read you a little bit about um, what he was like. So he was born in London, moved to America with his father in 1647. Um, people uh, wrote that he was frank even to bluntness. So that's kind of an ADHD thing that, that you kind of tell people what you think. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. So that's being frank to bluntness. Um, he did not refrain from forceful language and personal assault. Now, that may not be ADHD. Uh, Edward may have had something else going on, but that shows some real problems with impulsivity. Um, also, uh, he was brought before court several times for, um, for using forceful language. So he had some legal issues. Um, then also, um, before Paul Revere, he actually rode through town and started saying to people, hey, you know, the, the English need to get out of here. And so he kind of did it before it was cool. So, and you'll notice a lot of people with ADHD um, are pioneers. They're a little um, impulsive and, and brash, but we can also be real catalysts for change. So here he was riding through town saying down with the English before Paul Revere even did it. So you can see again that, that we're real kind of pioneers that way. Um, also, uh, he got in real trouble for that riding through the streets. And he was arrested and um, he was put in prison at the Tower of London. So if you've been to England, seen the Tower of London, or you live in England and seen it, um, it's not a real happy place to visit. So he got in big trouble for that. Um, and then the governor um, didn't want to execute him because he was afraid people would, would uh, get upset. Because apparently Edward, although he had some impulsivity problems, was a really popular guy and people really liked him. Um, so that says again about how people with ADHD, we may be distracted and impulsive, but a lot of times we have great personalities and we get along with a lot of people and a lot of people like us. So uh, that kind of shows you again a little bit about how that pattern kind of goes back through time. So also um, historians call them impulsive and rash. So yeah, that's a little ADHD. Um, and however, consider that 100 years later, that is how the Revolutionary War was started. So again, people with ADHD, we may be impulsive, but we're also kind of groundbreakers too. And we, we're kind of pioneers and we do things that other people sometimes haven't even thought of yet. And, and again, um, he was very popular and the historian wrote he had the respect of all the people. So people with ADHD, we may be impulsive and distractible, but sometimes we're, we're a lot of fun and we're great people. I mean, all the time I think we're great people. But again, like I said in my other video, I'm kind of biased. But um, that's my family history of ADHD going all the way back to the 1500s.